Today on Household Hacker, we're going to get crafty. So put a cork in it and enjoy the show. Let's kick it off with a small but nifty trick. Cork magnets. Cut a used wine cork into one eighth of an inch pieces. Glue small circular magnets onto one side when you're done with that. Now feel free to use a Sharpie and get creative with it. Bammo. Customize rustic magnetism. Now while we're on the subject of magnets, let's make it a bit more unique and make some air plants. These are great because they don't require watering. Their leaves are able to grab all the nutrients they need right through the air. You can grab them in the garden section at your hardware store. Simply hollow out one end of a cork with scissors or a knife, then put a small magnet on the back, stick them to some metal, and enjoy. Now if you're an outdoorsy type person, you may have lost your keys in the water at some point in your life. Let's fix that. Take a screw eye and pierce the top middle of the cork and screw it in until it's snug. Now add a key ring and a key, and you're done. Now your keys will float. We all float down here. Now here's an extremely awesome decorative piece that will really pop the cork at your next gathering. Get a large vase, a small glass roughly the same height. Now place a candle inside the small glass. Fill in the gap with a bunch of corks and then light the candle to impress your next guests. Sticking to the theme a bit, how about a mirror? Cut a bunch of corks in half lengthwise. Now measure them out in the shape of your mirror's frame. Glue one or two corks at a time onto the frame itself. You may have to cut a few to fit correctly, but it should look something like this. This fancy cork mirror can also double as a hot plate for your pots and pans. Awesome. And now my favorite, the cork candle. All you need for a cork candle is 70% rubbing alcohol, a small mason jar, corks, and a candle holder. Fill the jar up most of the way with alcohol and place the corks inside. Now put the lid on. Shake it up quite a bit and let it sit for at least 24 to 48 hours. The longer the better. It won't last as long as a wax candle, but it'll do the trick with limited supplies. It's great to have on hand in case of an emergency. You know, I can never find a chip clip when I need it, but this simple trick will take care of that. Grab a cork, stand it up, and cut about an inch into the cork. Now about a quarter of an inch over, cut downwards at a 30 degree angle. Voila, your vino has once again saved the day. Do you have a green thumb? We'll have a great time with this little trick. Grab some wooden skewers, used corks, and a sharpie. Stab the sharp end of the skewer into one end of the cork and label the cork appropriately so you no longer have to guess what's in your garden. In case you were wondering, this is a plant. This is a flower. Mind-blowing, isn't it? Life hack. I want to give a huge thank you to harrys.com for supporting Household Hacker. They're solving the problem of expensive razors by providing high-quality razors at about half the price of the big brands. Seriously, I wouldn't steer you down the wrong path. They provide the cleanest, most comfortable shave I have ever had. I've been using Harry's for months now and nothing compares to it. No longer do I have to deal with those pesky plexiglass cabinets at the store or drop $40 on a refill kit. Harry sent me a package that showed up right to my door and I was met with an amazingly beautiful Winston kit including shaving gel, handle, and blade as well as refills. Try it yourself and you will not be disappointed. Just go to harrys.com, that's H-A-R-R-Y-S.com, and punch in the coupon code HOUSEHOLD when you go to checkout. They're going to shave $5 right off your order and you'll get a kit in a matter of days. As always, thanks for watching and we'll be seeing you real soon.